Hello, this is Dan Farisi, Editor-in-Chief with Commercial Integrator. So happy to be joined this afternoon by Randy Reese, who is Director of AV Sales and Marketing at Draper. Thanks so much, Randy, for taking some time to talk to me right now in the busy run-up to Infocom 22. You're welcome, and it is quite busy. You hit that nail on the head. We shipped our things a week or so ago, so uh, they're on in transit. Absolutely. The, the excitement is just building and building. I know it's going to be a crazy, hectic week, but I think that the whole AV community is really going to come together and it's going to be a, a great uh, return to form for the entire AV industry. Before we get into what Draper is going to be showing, though, at N2602, I did just want to get your feelings about that first point, the idea that finally the AV industry is coming back together again. Obviously, you know, there was an ISC show, there have been some other shows, but for stateside AV, stateside commercial AV, I mean, Infocom 2022 is going to be the granddaddy of them all, the real coming together of the industry. What are your thoughts about that? Getting back in person, seeing your customers again, seeing integrators again, that whole element. Well, I think it's going to be fantastic. We were happy to participate in the October event in Orlando as well. But obviously, a lot of people couldn't make it, which uh, which we totally understand. And, you know, it was a different different uh, circumstances at that time. Things are a little better shape. So we're really looking forward to connecting. I think the, you know, the excitement around the show is, is really high this year. Uh, I was in the West coast with Draper for about 20 years. And uh, I've talked to a lot of dealers out there getting uh, invites to, to different events and different things that we, we can all get, get together, discuss, uh, reconnect on relationships and, and uh, just look forward to being in the industry again and in person. Uh, so yeah. no, it's it, the the dealer meetings, the 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 trainings for a Vixa CTS and those kind of things always bring people and excitement. Heard some really good uh, numbers that look like they're going to happen. Uh, anticipated numbers, so uh, all those things happen. Uh, we we're going to have a great event. I certainly believe that it will be. And ours is such a relationship focused industry, as you know, you know, having been in the industry as long as you have, just as I have, um, it's so important to make those one to one connections and, and getting back in, in person at Infocom, I think is going to be critical to that. Um, but let's talk about the Draper booth a little bit. As I mentioned, mm -hmm. it's in the North Hall N2602. I'm curious what you're most excited about sharing with integrators, customers, those who are going to be coming to the Draper booth all throughout well, Infocom. Exactly, Dan. We're trying to, we really are excited about focused in on uh, some of the, the products that we've had for a while. People have, have been purchasing and things, but we really haven't had a chance to show in person and, and, and talk about necessarily. So uh, we've got our AV mounts and structures. We're going to have a faceted curve in there uh, in the booth that that's, uh, uh, have the ability to show our mounts and structures in the, in the tailored nature that we can do on those, the custom nature, uh, as well as having uh, a wall mount. So the faceted curve is a, is a floor mount, the, the uh, wall mount being the, uh, the foundation product that we've had. So uh, really looking forward to, to showing those off, letting people see, touch, feel uh, that product. Uh, we're also looking at an updated scissor lift that we're going to have in the booth, show off in the booth. It's it's going to be some uh, some vast improvements on that with the weights. We're able to handle larger projectors now with some of the different weight capacities. So some some other products that we're looking at from a AV standpoint. Um, the Acumen screen, which is our uh, wall mount screen uh, that we can do up to 20 feet wide. So we can do some larger wall ceiling mounts for that product, uh, as well as up to 10 foot wide for a a battery recharge product that we've been doing in our shades for years. We just carried that over to the AV side as well. Uh, so I mentioned shades. Uh, we're also going to have a, a really nice collection of shade products that we're going to show kind of highlighting and, and showing off our exterior products. We call a zip shade, uh, which, which really will, will show some or give some dealers some, um, some options. Uh, to block some of the light and things of that nature for glare, whether it's going to be two-piece projection or whether it's going to be a LED type or a, a video wall of some other kind. 
Boy, there's going to be a lot to check out at 2602 in the North Hall, and, and I'm sure you're just giving us a taste of what's going to be there. Um, and you mentioned at the outset of your answer, the whole like see, touch, and feel element. I, I would imagine for a company like Draper, whose products are, are so tangible, you really want to get that element. You want to see exactly what you're offering. So that must make it a uniquely attractive opportunity to go to the Draper booth at a show like Infocom. Yeah, that's it, Dan. You know, you look at uh, everybody talks about them. We have Teams meetings, we have uh, Zoom meetings, we have all these different uh, virtual uh, discussions about products, but there's no substitute for, for seeing the product. So we're really looking forward to that. Yeah, Dan, one other thing I wanted to mention is I, I, that I failed to mention when we we're talking about tangible products is one that's not so tangible. It's our Draper Online capabilities that uh, we're offering for our dealers to be able to get online, do their own quotes, do their own drawings uh, on their time and not ours. So, uh, by the way, those drawings are to scale uh, on projection screen products. So it's, it's really an advantage for a design uh, engineer to be able to, to drop those things right down into their projects. So looking forward to showing that. Yeah, and I'm looking forward to seeing it, as I'm sure will all will all the people who are going to be going to the booth. Again, that's uh, N2602. But before we wrap up this conversation, Randy, I'm just wondering, is there anything else you might want to add about what Draper has planned for the show, your excitement about the show, your personal reflections on being back at Infocom, back at the Las Vegas Convention Center? Yeah, I think, again, I just reiterate being able to create or reconnect on those relationships that we've all had and, and we've all uh, had over the years and, and creating new ones that we can we can get to. Uh, one thing I didn't mention much of is is we're in the fifth uh, generation of our family ownership at Draper. Chris Broom is great, great grandson of the uh, founder of Draper. Uh, so uh, it's really exciting for us to be able to to get back and establish that uh, based on the family nature of our company. Uh, but one thing that comes along with that, I think, is we're not immune to supply chain issues, but we're really excited that we've been able to provide product throughout this uh the uh, uh, the COVID pandemic and and not you know we've had like I said we're not immune to the uh, supply chain issues but our I think our relationships that we've had over the years have really been beneficial to us uh, to be able to ship product and make sure we get products out. Well, that is an essential differentiator these days because, you know, up and down the line, there's so many people really struggling with the supply chain, really struggling with procurement. So um, yes. I'm looking forward to, to seeing the entire team and you, Randy, uh, again at booth N2602 at Infocom. And thank you so much, Randy, for taking some time to apprise commercial integrators audience and me about everything Draper has planned for what I'm sure will be a very successful Infocom 22. Thank you, Dan. Hope to see you out there. For sure. Uh, again, my thanks to Randy Reese, who is director of AV Sales and Marketing with Draper Inc. Draper will be at N2602 at Infocom. My name is Dan Farisi, editor in chief with Commercial Integrator. And please check back on commercialintegrator.com regularly, both in the run up to Infocom as well as during the show and in its aftermath for more great content just like this. Thanks for joining us. Mm -hmm.